Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicki and this is day 27 of my Vlogmas series where I show you my entire makeup collection. So with that, we'll get started. I'm not going to be highlighting just one brand here today. This is just sort of my mishmash miscellaneous bits, parts, and pieces that I've received from various subscription boxes. I keep hearing a strange sound. I'm going to go check that out after this video. Uh, the first I have is this Ofra. That's a bliss highlighter or eyeshadow. And then from Sahi Cosmetics, I have a cream metallic foil shadow with jojoba oil. And it is in it's in the shade. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what shade this is because it doesn't tell me. So we're going to open it up and find out. And maybe it will be on the back of this. I think it's called Doha, D-O-H-A, and that is what it looks like. Then I have the mini nude eyeshadow from The Balm. I love getting, oops, this is in Flirty. I love getting those in my subscription boxes, those little tiny ones. And then I have Cabana Boy in a shadow or a blush, either or. I would use that as a shadow because I feel like that's too tiny to use as a blush. And then I have the Balm Travel Shadow in Will Come In. It's kind of a brownish color. And then I have Pop Goes the Shadow in the color Gunmetal. If I can get this open. little tiny shadow here and then I have a pixie by Petra eyeshadow duo this is really pretty Love that one and the next color I have is from Jessie's girl it's a mineralized bake shadow eyeshadow is it sealed yes I need Herman 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 has been helping with all, all my videos. He's been helping me cut through tape on items. Ah, there we go. And it is this beautiful marbled like gray shadow. I have another one from the Balm called the Mary Luminizer. It's a highlighter, shimmer, or eyeshadow. Again, I would probably use this as a eyeshadow because it's so tiny. And then I have two from Your Minerals Sweden. I have Glistening Gray and Swedish Winter. I'm not going to open these, but you can see one is white, one is dark gray. And then again from Pop Goes the Shadow. And those are by Elizabeth Mott. I don't think I've heard that. I haven't heard Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mott mention in a while, so I don't even know if they're still a thing. But here's this really pretty cream colored eyeshadow. And then I have the Be A Bombshell Eye Base in Submissive. I feel like everybody got this at one point in one of their boxy charms. So it is. I need to open it up. Oh, yeah, there it is. Kind of this brownish cream shadow. And then I have INM Velveteen dream shadow in the color hot girl summer open this let's try to direct that end's not working either gosh there we go and it is this pinky cream shimmery color Another one from Ofra. This is a the Gold Rush, Gold Rush, I try that, Gold Rush eyeshadow. And then I have the Revealed Palette Sampler from Coastal Scents. They, I don't believe they are in business anymore. Um, it's just this little tiny quad right here. 
And then I have another one from Be A Bombshell. This is the Bora Bora eyeshadow. It looks like a quad. Yes. Oh, and this is so pretty. That is the Bora Bora quad. Can't get it back in the box. There we go. And then I have Loose Shadow Pigment. I don't know what company this is, and I don't know if the color is Furless or if the company is called Furless. Oh, it's a Loose Shadow. So you can see the color right there. Very pretty. It's this little tiny container. And then I have from Dirty Little Secret. This is another eyeshadow in who knows what color. Mm, sangria. Where's the color name? So it is this right here. And then from Duce, I'm going to call it Duce Free Matic Eyeshadow. And in the color Marissa. This is some fancy, this is all like velvet. <laughs> and you actually have to pop this whole little tiny thing out, but you can see the color there. She fancy. All right. Moving on. To my Disney Morphe palette I do have the larger size of this if you saw in one of my first videos when I started this series and I did grab the smaller one and I'm going to cover this mirror and this is very very much Mickey colors it is the reds the yellows the blacks and let's see if I can get really close where's the imprint there's an imprint on that red in the middle hopefully you can see that there that is his pants, and at the bottom is his little steamboat willy head. The next one I have is from Dose of Colors, and it is their Minnie Mouse palette. And that is what she looks like there. Super, super pretty. Um, we've got some oranges, a raspberry color, some browns, and this is a blush here, and you can see, pardon me, you can see the imprint of Minnie's head on the blush. And then I have a palette from Beauty Glaze, it's called Impressed You, one of those random Amazon purchases I did, yes, and it is off and then it is all of these shadows right here nice variety of color and let's move on to let's move on oh I've got two I've got a liquid shadow in the color violet and then I have a jelly shimmer Ooh, packaging crack from she And it is this, I think it dried out actually. Yeah, it turned into a hockey puck. It's a little hockey puck now, so we're going to declutter that one. And I'll just toss that over there. All right, moving on to, this is the lipsticks. Moving on to eyes, I have a Burt's Bees eyeliner in soft black. I'm not going to pull these out of the package. I have a Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner in black. A Power Lash Mascara from Model Co. Makeup Forever. Smoky Extravagant. I believe this is a liquid liner. I have a Kat Von D set. That is a birthday gift from Sephora. And I think the only thing left in here is the powder. Oh, the powder. The Tattoo Liquid Liner. This is the powder. The liner. And then it came with like these little lipstick samples that are not in here. Oh, I think I have them in my vanity. That's okay. We won't worry about those right now. So there's that one. Another birthday gift I had gotten from Sephora is the Milk Makeup 
um, it is the Kush mascara and there is some primer I don't really use primer because I've gone back to powder shadow powder shadow powder foundation <laughs> you know the thing this I have and I don't think I'm gonna keep oh this is it no this is different this is the dip brow gel in taupe I'm just gonna show you the package there I, oh there we go I'm like, I don't think I can get it out of here I'm getting there hold on mm -hmm. how do you get out of there there it is it's the dip brow gel oh my gosh this is this little teeny bitty thing and it into all right let's see what else we got over here we've got the me in pencil in the color amethyst it's like a purpley color very dark purple and then I have a liquid coal waterproof liner from from somewhere. Maybe the brand is Liquid Coal. Oh no, here it is. Seraphine Botanicals. I have an Ico Skinny Liquid Black Liner. A Sex Kitten from Tarte Liner. Is it liner? Is it blush? Is it, what is it? What are you? It's a liner. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what it is. It doesn't tell me. Alright, and then I have Paula Dorf Universal Brow Pencil in Taupe. A mascara from Duce. It's just a black mascara. Doesn't tell me what color, but I'm going to do black. And that's, that's the cap to Herman. That's not even a thing. Hold on. Let me cap Herman here. Alright, we're now going to move on to blush, bronzers, and highlighters. So I have a blush here. I'm not even going to try to get out of the package right now. It's from Model, Model Co. and the color is Peach Bellini. I have a Hikari Cream Pigment, which I believe is a blush or a something. Hang on, I've got to try to get this open. I think I got it. Nope, just kidding. Oh my goodness. This is a cream pigment you're never going to get into, so best of luck. There we go. Nope, it's an eyeshadow, actually. There we go. I have What Up Beaches from uh, Elizabeth Mott. It's a matte bronzer. I'll probably use that as a shadow because it's so tiny. From IBY Beauty, I have a blush. No, excuse me. It's a highlighter in the color Bubbly. I have more from the balm. I have the Bahama Mama bronzer. Again, I probably use that as a shadow. And woo! And Balm Springs Long Wearing Blush called In Full Swing. I probably use that as a blush and blush or eyeshadow. And then I have another Model Co. blush, which apparently these two are both the same. Um, they're in Peach Bellini. Now here's the funny thing. I'm looking at the expert. You know, you have a little jar with the expiration. This one says 12. This one says 24. <laughs> so I'm going to guess that they improved the formula on this one. Next, I have a three-tone bronzer from Beauté Basics. And I'm going to guess this is probably one I will use as an eyeshadow if I can get it out of the thing. Okay. Actually, this is really pretty, and I could see like this would, could, could be a blush and bronzer all together. I would probably use that on my cheeks slash face. I have from Luna the a highlighter in Calypso. And it's a baked highlighter. There. I just have a little um, tart Park Avenue Princess, the bronzer, and glisten as the blush. Just a little blush card. Hikari, we have a blush in Tango. 
nice and pink. And then I have the, whoops, and then I have the Jekka Black, J-E-C-C-A, B-L-A-C period, Glow Drops Priming, no, Highlighting Primer for Face in Rose Pearl. Let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. I like that. That's really nice. All right, so that is it for face and cheeks. And then I have four lippies. And I'll get those out. The first one I have is from Smith and Colt, and this is the color Cherry Blossom. And I, if you've not tried them, and if they're still around, definitely try them out. I use quite a bit of this one too. Um, it is this beautiful pink shimmer. Then I have from L-C-E-L-C-I, and then the E is backwards. It's the Plush Lip Balm in the color pink. And there we go. That is what she looks like. Very pink. Very pretty, too. Whoop. And I have two from Oma Beauty. These are the Black Magic. Hypnotic Impact High Shine Lipsticks. I have this one here. Ooh. This is beautiful. It's just this beautiful, like, cobalt blue. This is, oh, really pretty. Cleopatra, there's the pattern patterning on the lipstick right there. I think that was a magnetic closure I just felt on there. I'll, I'll find out on this one. And then this one is called Nefertiti. It's got that same blue packaging. My fingers aren't working. Hang on. And the same pattern on the lipstick. And it's this beautiful pink color. Are you a magnetic closure? Let's see. Yep. I like that. That's kind of cool. I've never had lipsticks that do that. So anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I will see you in my very next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.